As we wrap up here, uh, we just have a few more people. Um, and our next speaker is Mariah Bazet uh, from the Christmaticus team. Uh, she's actually uh, married to Jordan, who's the director of CMF Curo. And Mariah does most of the writing on, on the CMF Curo blog is from Mariah. She's an excellent writer. She's the assistant manager of membership development. Uh, so if you're a CMF Curo member, it's very likely you've spoken to Mariah before and also does some policy analysis for CMF Curo. Mariah, thank you so much for joining us. There you go. Thank you, James. Um, so on behalf of the Christ Medics Foundation, I want to thank everyone here for joining us today. Um, I also want to give a special thank you to our partners and the amazing speakers um, for making this all possible and um, allowing this to come together the way that it did. Um, I'm, I want to speak briefly on what CMF, Christ Medics, Medicus Foundation, is doing to serve the Catholic community at large. Um, as well as CMF Curo specifically, um, and how that ties into advancing the culture of life. Um, so last night, I was actually, um, Jordan and I were in adoration, and I was a little nervous about this, giving this feel, as I've never really done anything like this before, right? Um, and the phrase that kept coming to mind, um, something I believe really from God, that was, he was just saying, communicate me. Um, and I think that's really powerful in the context of this event today, um, because I think all of the organizations and all of the, the experts who have spoken um, are doing are trying to do just that, to communicate Jesus into the field of healthcare. Um, that, that really sums up the entire mission of Christ Medicus. Um, right, so our mission, first and foremost, is to bring, help bring Christ into our broken healthcare system. Um, as he is the divine physician, he is the ultimate healer. Um, we're doing that in a number of ways, right? Um, Christ Medicus specifically, um, through informing, I mean, the Catholic community through events such as this, at, as to what the threats to religious freedom are, um, as well as through policy work. Um, specifics on that can be found at ChristMedicus.org, as I don't really have time to go into that. Um, most tangibly through, I think, serving the CMF Curo membership, um, we are trying to help Christ have a space in the individual healthcare of our members. Um, we do that in a number of ways. First and foremost, we offer spiritual resources for our members, such as spiritual direction. Um, if they're, I mean, going through an illness, injury, it's important to have that human connection. And that's what we're trying to offer for our members. Um, as well as intercessory prayer, um, bioethical consultations. That are, that, those are all things that we offer. Um, we also offer a health sharing option through a partner ministry um, in which I mean, Christians and Catholics are coming together to take care of each other's medical needs. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that, please visit our website also at cmfcuro.com and feel free to reach out to us. We would be um, more than willing to help you see if this is something that would work for you. Um, with that, I'm gonna hand this back over to our executive director, Lewis Brown, and um, I thank you for listening to me today. Thanks, Mariah, that's awesome. Uh, Mariah is a blessing to us. She's originally from California and she is a UC Berkeley graduate and just doing an amazing work and um, uh, really particularly talking uh, around the healing of the whole person uh, and some amazing writing she's done at the Christ Medicus blog. So just encourage folks uh, to read more from Mariah uh, at the Christ Medicus Foundation blog. Um, can't thank folks enough for participating uh, in this. Uh, the presenters, amazing, thank you. I uh, wanna thank the Catholic Medical Association in particular uh, uh, Dr. Steve White, who's been fantastic uh, uh, for us, uh, Dr. Rusty Shavey from Emmaus, all of the speakers, uh, uh, Father Luke Clark, um, uh, uh, Robin Goldsmith, Didi Chisholm, Dr. Arnaldo Padilla, uh, uh, Joseph Domini, all of our presenters, thank you so much, phenomenal. Dr. Uh, Irvin, amazing, thank you all, can't thank you enough. James Wilson, who I could listen to all day, who is a phenomenal host and uh, is more than ready for uh, prime time and, and uh, you know, amazing 
uh, and just our team, Michael Baca, Victoria, uh, uh, David Wilson, uh, who's behind the scenes and, uh, uh, you know, essentially, uh, uh, you know, so, so much of why this is all happening. I can't thank David enough. And our founder in particular, Michael Day, who has been an Isaiah figure on this issue for decades um, and can't thank Michael Day uh, enough, who, who is a really holy man uh, and thank the Holy Spirit. So with this, um, especially want to thank you all uh, from across the country, over 600 folks have registered for attending uh, this conference. Um, there's a lot of voices out there. Uh, David Wilson has said for a long time, this is the health age. And we're, fine. we're seeing that in a very potent way, that this is the health age. Um, but in, in that, Jesus Christ is the answer. And so as we're going through massive shifts right now and across the country as we speak in healthcare and medical care around COVID-19, uh, but also in uh, a lot of practices not surviving, uh, in medical workers uh, experiencing extraordinary hardship, but also displaying extraordinary heroism, uh, in the economic fallout from this where um, millions, over 30 million people have lost jobs, you know, and it, could be more. Hopefully, it'll uh, calm down with things reopening. We're seeing extraordinary shifts. Um, we also know that the culture of death um, is is still moving, and good people, a lot of times, with good in, what they think is good intentions, but to bad ends. Uh, whether it's abortion or end of life care and other things, uh, really dangerous things are 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 uh, are working now, and so it's time for even more vividly for the body of Christ to come together, the Catholic community to come together to advance person-centered, Christ-centered uh, medical care, Christ-centered medical care that puts the focus on the person, on the patient, on the human dignity of every person, no matter uh, what their quality of life is, no matter what they earn, no matter what they look like, um, that every person is provided the care that they need. And so it's, it's a time for us to come together as a community, to build this community up across the country, to protect and to care for each and every human person, whether they have COVID, they have another illness, they have another disease. We need to march together. We need to build together to advance life-affirming, Christ-centered healthcare in a way pretty good. <laughs> yeah. before in our life. We must do that. Now is the time to do that more than any other time in American history to come together as a national community of Catholics, of, of Christians, and other folks that love and believe in life. So that's the first thing, is to come together as a community of Christians and people of goodwill to advance life-affirming care. We have to do that, and we have to do that now, and we at Christ Medicus and with our partners, the Catholic Medical Association, all these amazing clinical leaders, Catholic Benefits Association, uh, Catholic Insurance Company, all of these amazing organizations, we're coming together to do that, to advance and put life-affirming care as the only option going forward in times of trial. We must double down on Christ. We must double down on life. That's number one. Number two, as part of this movement, we must now come together to advance religious freedom, particularly in healthcare, particularly when we are seeing an unprecedented um, uh, you know, reality of healthcare workers putting their lives on the line because of God and neighbor. And so we need to educate the American community, our brothers and sisters across the country on the vital, crucial importance of protecting the right of conscience and the right of religious freedom in healthcare so that all of these religious sisters who are putting their lives on the line, who are on this, who are on this conference right now, for all of these priests uh, who are also physicians, for deacons that are also physicians, for all of these amazing faith-based medical workers, and even those that are not faith-based to protect their right of conscience and the right of religious freedom so that they can continue to put their lives on the line, to care for their brothers and sisters, and, and to witness to the dignity of every human person, that every patient is made in the image of likeness of God. So that's what we need. That's what we need from you. And we also invite you into um, truly authentic, authentically Catholic and Christian forms of healthcare, whether it's health sharing with CMF Curo, uh, whether it's the Catholic Benefits Association, the amazing work they're doing, 
whether it's My Catholic Doctor, the amazing telehealth services that they're providing, uh, whether it is uh, these, all of these amazing clinics, Divine Mercy Care in Northern Virginia, Bella, Natural, Bella Health and Wellness in Colorado, Emmaus Health in, in Michigan, uh, St. Gianna Clinic in Wisconsin, uh, the uh, Gianna Clinics in New York State and in New Jersey. We have to come together. Uh, it's an incredible time. It's an unprecedented time, but it's now time for us to come together as a Catholic community, as a Christian community, as a community that loves life, that loves religious freedom, that wants to fight for civil rights. It's time to come together. Uh, and I think a, with a particular emphasis for the poor, for the vulnerable, for Spanish speakers, for African Americans that are particularly struggling, uh, for those that are Down syndrome, for those that have uh, underlying conditions, to fight for them and fight for their health uh, and to come together. And what, what do we fight with? We fight with love. That's what we're about. So um, being a little bit bold, uh, we just ask for your prayers. Uh, we ask for, uh, for you to join our community. We ask for your financial support, if that makes sense. Uh, but we also ask for you to just journey with us and to come into this community um, and being bold on that. Uh, we're discerning this, but uh, we very much want to continue to talk about the way forward and do this conference uh, and again, but with a new message about the way forward, what we've discerned with the Holy Spirit speaking to us later this summer, probably in July. Uh, and we invite you to participate in that and to galvanize other folks in your community to also participate in that so that we can serve and love each other as the body of Christ, particularly in healthcare. Uh, and with that, I'll give it back to you, James, and just can't thank you, James, enough, the team, all of our partners, can't thank you all enough. And for all those attending, particularly the medical workers and the families that are struggling, we can't thank you enough for your time and your attention. Thank you, James. Thank you, Lewis, and, and thanks again to all for joining. Um, I'm just going to invite you to visit our website, Christ Medicus Foundation, or ChristMedicus.org. Um, the, the link is in the chat. It should also direct you there at the conclusion of the conference. Um, you can sign up for to receive notifications. We send out um, information on updates in, in healthcare and the policy side of things, as well as press releases and just stay involved with us. And I'd like to invite Michael Vaca uh, to close us out here in prayer. Let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, you who are the author of life, we beg you to send your Holy Spirit upon us in a new way as we approach Pentecost. May the reality of your resurrection penetrate each of our hearts in a deeper way. We ask you, Lord, to give us a greater spirit of gratitude for the gift of medicine, for the beauty of the human person, for the incredible work that you're doing to build up your church, to build up our society. Lord, please make us your co-workers. Help us to say yes to you as the Blessed Mother did. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to Jesus Christ in everything. We may, we, may we behold you face to face one day in eternal glory. As we say together, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thanks again for joining us today. And We'll be sending out a follow-up email to everybody that includes links to the register, the recording of this. So if you want to share it, please share it with as many people as you can. Uh, anybody who you think would be interested, we'll break it up as well. So if you want to share a particular segment or if you have any follow-up questions, I know there was a lot we couldn't get to with the, with the physicians. Um, feel free to send those questions. We'll, we'll forward them on to the, the doctors and um, hopefully be able to get some of those answered for you. Um, in the meantime, have a great Saturday, um, Saturday in May, you know, dedicated to Mary. Um, so please keep us at the Christ Medicus Foundation, CMF Care, and all the partner organizations in your prayers. If you do want to support us financially, we would greatly appreciate that as well. Help us share this mission and bring this to as many people as possible. Um, have a great day and God bless you all.